Good morning. Happy Saturday. How is everybody? So, how is your morning routine? Do you have a morning routine? I keep a list of suggestions for myself on what to do in the morning, but I have a pretty set, I've thought about it, and I have a pretty set morning routine and I'm a morning person, although I have not been getting up early like usual lately. I used to be a very early morning person. Donuts and coffee, early morning stuff. Um, I don't do that anymore. I've been lounging in bed lately. So here's how I start my day. Um, Abraham Hicks has a suggestion to immediately upon waking <clears throat> when you realize you're awake. I've heard two different things. One is just to notice all the good things around you. Uh, so if the, if the bed is nice and comfy and soft, if you slept well, if you have nice, groggy, good feelings, if the room's a nice temperature, think about those things first. Although I also heard just to, and I was able to do this this morning. Good morning, Kara. Um, just to lay there with a blank mind, kind of like a meditative mind, um, and see how long you can do that. So 17 seconds is supposed to be the, the goal for holding a positive thought, um, and especially in the morning. If you can do that times four, which is 68 seconds, a minute and eight seconds, you're golden. <laughs> so it's a good way to get started is to have nice thoughts, pleasant thoughts or no thoughts and not jumping into the to-do or not, not jumping into the, okay, today's this, oh, I've got this going on. Don't need to start that early in the morning. Um, so get, before you get, you're getting up, you have positive thoughts going. I don't let myself reach for my phone and check texts or email or social media right away. That can wait, that can all wait. Usually I, I try to wait until I'm done with this. So that's like 10 o'clock, which is great, which is really good. So then I come downstairs, um, I turn on all the lights on my desk and water, drink water first thing in the morning and I don't remember where I got that. I mean, I wasn't young. It was like, I think after graduate school, I started realizing I need to drink water right away. So I always drink water first. Um, then I start a cup of tea. I get my oil diffuser going, some nice uplifting. Good morning, Deb. Some nice uplifting scents. And I get those going. Um, so I have my tea going, I get the oils going, and then I sit down at my desk and I start writing out affirmations right away. First thing, first thing, affirmations. Um, I, I have a crazy number of post-it notes on my desk, so sometimes I'll take a look at those. Um, so while my tea's going, I'm doing affirmations. And then I have, I have this little checklist of things, like suggestions for myself. Um, meditation, yoga, affirmations, intention, Abraham Hicks. So sometimes I will, um, when I'm done with my affirmations, I'll take my tea and sit in front of the TV and I have the, I have YouTube on the TV and I will either go to a meditative mind, which it's on usually in the background. Um, and they have these different frequencies. So I will turn that on and that's going all day long. Unless somebody wants to sit down and actually watch something, that's what's on the TV all day. Um, but sometimes I'll watch a quick animated Abraham Hicks video and those are like eight minutes, 10 minutes. That also gets good thoughts going, right? Yeah, journaling. You know what, I've got this gratitude journal and I actually got through, I mean, it's only, it's like a morning and night. And this morning, I actually got through, you do three things, what you're grateful for, uh, 
what will make today awesome. So it's kind of like setting an intention and then an affirmation. I was able to do that this morning before my tea was done. And then I also have this cool little uh, pad that I got from Jeanette Ma, Good Vibe University, my, my chosen intention for the day. I really should do this. Um, but so when I do, when I'm done with this tea affirmations, sometimes I'll watch a video and right before I do this in the morning, I go up to my room, I get a little essential oil going. I might do a little Palo Santo or uh, hold a crystal and I sit down and do my Reiki prayer. And I think that's kind of setting an intention, you know, just for today, I'll let go of worry. I'll let go of anger. Uh, just for today, um, I'll do my best to establish my divine presence. I'll be kind to others and myself, and I'll give thanks for my many blessings. And I sit there for a moment and see if I get any insights. Um, usually I have something set to talk about, but sometimes something will pop up, a new idea while I'm doing that. And then I come down and say hello to all you guys. And that's it, that's my morning routine. Then I will look at social media. I realized um, I was I was feeling really good, really high vibe a couple months ago. So I'm trying to get back to that. Um, but I noticed just having my phone and wanting to reach for it and open Twitter, that's got to be the worst way to start your day. Do not lay in bed and open Twitter in the morning, okay? If you do anything else, just don't do that. Um, so take a minute today to think about your routine and what you're letting in first thing, because I really think that sets a tone for the day. Um, that's it. I probably already went for five minutes this morning. So think about that and maybe throw something in there or give yourself a list of suggestions, things to do. Um, yeah, yeah, there you go. And then I, I usually come back uh, when I get in bed at night, um, I'm not really good with this gratitude journal, but, uh, sometimes I'll remember to come back and, and fill in the rest of it, you know, kind of, uh, the great things that happened today and how I'm feeling and, um, what I want to do tomorrow. But I always end my day writing more affirmations. Always. I always have a notebook with me. I have notebooks all over the place. So that's my routine. I hope you have a lovely Saturday morning and let the good stuff in. Keep your high vibe. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.